I am Titus. I'm, I'm your counselor for today. Please have a seat. Alright. Um, how have you eaten your lunch yet? Yeah. Okay. How do you come here? Uh, my mom sent me. Okay. So you were, was it? Were you able to find this place easily after your mom sent you? Okay. Alright. Um, so um, today, before we begin our counseling session, I would like to just let you know certain administrative matters. So uh, firstly. Um, how many sessions will it take? Um, it varies, so we can take um, depend base, we, can, we can take from eight to ten sessions, depending on how long it takes to solve this issue. And each session costs uh, ten dollars. So um, if you have, if you happen to have any financial difficulty, if you happen to have, uh, we have uh, availability of financial schemes that you can choose from. All right. So um, before we begin, I'd just like to let you know the purpose of counseling. So the purpose of counseling is. Um, actually a time for you to voice out any opinions or any feelings that you have. Maybe you have, might have certain issue that you want to bring up about it, so feel free to bring up about this during these counseling sessions. And together, we'll work towards um, forming solutions to these issues. Alright? Okay, so um, even as we um, talk about whatever issues that you might bring up or we might discuss, we'll make sure that uh, we maintain a confidentiality clause so that is to say that whatever we, whatever we stay in this room, we'll stay in this room. And it will only be broken on these three factors. If you harm yourself, if you harm others, or if you break the law. So are you agreeable to that? Yeah. Okay, if you are agreeable, agreeable to that, can you please sign here? Sure. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Alright, so... Uh, before we continue, um, may I just ask how are you feeling today? Um, just like usual, sad. Okay. Yeah. What makes you feel sad? I'm already 16, but then in school, I do not have friends. Like, they casted me away and make fun of me being alone all the time. Mm, okay, I see. So it seems like your friends have been making fun of you because... No, they are not my friends. Alright, it seems like these people have been making fun of you because you don't have any friends. Alright, it's not really nice, I must say. So, um, I must say that it is good and courageous of you to even tell me all this. And um, do you manage to tell your teachers about it? Um, I did to one of my teachers. Okay, yeah. how did he or she respond? You can't do anything about it because it's not within her control. Okay. Yeah, you can't make someone like you. Yes, yes, I see. Okay, I can understand. So, uh, it must not be easy for you to just handle all this by yourself, I guess. Okay. Um, so, have you, um, just to let you know that um, you're not the only one to experience this. Um, students nowadays, they find themselves getting made fun of people for various reasons. It can be race or color as well. So um, it is indeed not a nice thing to get made fun of. So um, have you perhaps shared about this with your parents? Do you have any, I mean, do you talk to your parents about it? Yeah. Okay. And <coughs> they can't really console me because my mind is blocked with all these things like my exams I've been failing my exams okay yeah and then all these just make me feel super super stressed and they cannot do anything and so they send me for counseling I see so in other words um, if I'm not wrong uh, am I right to say that your friends have been making fun of you and because of that it's affected your studies and uh, caused you not to do your exams yeah and so your parents decided to send you for counseling because of it mm -hmm. okay May I just ask, uh, when did this problem start? It's, it started when I'm in secondary school already because I think I tend to look a bit you know, and okay. it's not like, not like my classmates or those cool kids, you know. Okay, I see. Well, I don't think you look nerd, okay. Um, were there anyone else who were affected by this? Maybe um, when your friends make fun of you beside you, did anyone felt maybe angry about them making fun of you? No, because I don't really have friends in school. Yeah, okay. I don't talk to anybody about it. I see. Yeah. So uh, how has this 
problem affect your lifestyle besides um, causing you to not do well for exams? It makes me feel lonely. Okay. Sometimes I don't have appetite to eat. Alright. Yeah, then I can't even concentrate in class because they're mm. making fun of me all the time. Okay. Yeah, that's why my results are like bad. I see. So, in other words, your friends have been, not say friends, these people have been making fun of you to the point that yes, <coughs> affect um, even your normal routine. Yeah. Okay. It's certainly not a nice thing to get made fun of, and I must say that it's strong of you to even be able to go through all this, and even to just go through your studies, something that is commendable. Okay, so um, currently right now, they are still making fun of you. Mm -hmm. Okay, is there, a, is there anything that you might feel that caused them to continue uh, making fun that you don't have friends? I think it's because I won't fight back. Okay. So that, so they think that it's, very fun to make me like feel sad. It's to them it's like they are them happy when okay. I feel sad. So it seems that they are rejoicing over your despair and when you get made fun of friends when you get made fun of them you feel sad. Yeah. They rejoice at it. Yeah. Okay. Psycho. I see. So well it doesn't sound good at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um so in other words this has been maintaining for roughly how long? Mm. Since the start of the year, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I see. Okay. So, um, in, I hope. What's your goal when you? Uh, what's your What's your goal? What do you hope to achieve from um, after these counseling sessions? <coughs> I hope. I don't hope for friends, but okay. I hope that they will just leave me alone and stop making fun of me. Okay. Yeah. And I want my studies to be better. Okay. But. Um, indeed, in order for them to stop making fun of you, it seems like it would be good for you to have friends also, right? So that you can yeah. mix around, have someone to talk to as well. Okay, so um, during this week, uh, my suggestion for you is that you can maybe get to know someone in the class better. Uh, or maybe you can just make a friend in other classes. Yeah, so you can get to know one of your classmates better and um, perhaps during this week you can take the time to do so. And then um, the next session when we come back, we can see how it has, how this suggestion has gone for you. Would that be alright for you? Yeah. Can okay. So um, during this week, you can go and try it out. And um, I also suggest <coughs> that um, in the in addition to that, you can do a journal. So uh, sometimes this journal it comes in useful to just pen down how you're feeling for the day. Yeah. You can write down your thoughts. Maybe you feel sad today. Why? Because they disturb you. Just write it down. Sometimes it's not really easy to share through words, right? Mm. So maybe writing it down is better for you. Yeah. What do you think about it? Yeah, I think it's okay. Okay. All right. So um, for today, um, would you mind me asking, um, from the scale of one to ten, how do you find this session to be like? Nine. Wow. Okay. Okay. Can. So uh, thank you for your feedback. So in the following sessions, uh, I'll be following up on the suggestions suggestions that we both uh, agreed on, which is for you to try making a friend. For you to try making a friend, and uh, for you to, uh, and for you to tell me how has the journal thing been working for you, yeah, and then we'll be discussing our further solutions as to how to solve this problem. Would that be alright? Okay. Thank you. Thank you.